वेलकम माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स द गार्नर वर्सेस मुर्रे केस रिफर्स टू पार्टनरशिप फर्म्स डिजल्यूशन ऑफ द पार्टनरशिप फर्म एंड इंसॉलवेंसी ऑफ द पार्टनर इन केस ऑफ डिजल्यूशन ऑफ द पार्टनरशिप बिजनेस इफ एनी डेबिट बैलेंसेस इज देयर इन एनी पार्टनर्स कैपिटल अकाउंट ही हैज टू ब्रिंग दैट अमाउंट इन कैश If the partner account is showing debit balance and if he is unable to bring any amount, he is said to be insolvent partner. My dear students, in the case of Garner v. Murray, what the judge has given verdict is, he has clearly shown the difference between a loss arising from dissolution and a loss arising from insolvency of partner's debit balance. The dissol at the time of dissolution, we prepare realization account. The realization loss should be distributed among the partners, but the solvent partners has to introduce equal amount of cash of their share of realization loss. Say, for example, if A, B, C are there, C become insolvent. A, B solvent partners. While the entire dissol realization account lo loss undo. आ लास् क्या रूप में तेवाल अंड वन मोर् थिंग द डेबिट बस इन इनसावे पार्टनर अकौंट अटे इनसावे पार्टनर सी कदा सी अकोट डेबिट सैड इज मोर अं क्रेडिट सैड इज लेस दट से बी ए कैपिटल लास् दट लास् बी बॉर्न बै द सावे पार्टनर्स इन देर कैपिटल रेसियो इन देर कैपिटल रेसियो सी मै डेस्टूडेंट वन सैकंड ई वाट से हियर दर् डिफरें बिटवी a realization loss and capital loss realization loss should be distributed to all the partners but whereas the debit balance of insolvent partner is to be borne by the solvent partners in their capital ratios my dear students the capitals of the partners are of two kinds like fixed capital and fluctuating capital if anything is not given we assume that their capitals are fixed in the capital ratio we will distribute Uh, the debit balance of the insolvent partner but in case of fluctuating capitals after you make all the adjustments then you will get the final amount of the capitals in that ratio you need to distribute so this is the garner versus murray case in exam if the question is given how you have to write that is now valid point now you have to start write like this this case refers to insolvency of partner when the partnership firm is dissolved when a partner becomes insolvent the partnership firm will be dissolved we prepare a realization account the realization loss should be distributed to all the partners the solvent partners has to introduce equal amount of uh, their share of loss in cash then the debit balance of insolvent partners uh, capital account should be borne by the solvent partners in their capital ratio that you have to write uh, and in case of fixed capital Uh, it's okay whatever capital is there in uh, according to that you can distribute in case in case of fluctuating capitals after making all adjustments again we have to calculate the capital ratio in that ratio the debit balance should be distributed okay ma this is all about uh, garner versus murray case this is a repeated asked question my dear students this is in insolvency of partner in your advanced accounts if you want to read you go to unit number 2 there you have dissolution and insolvency of partner you will find this case you, one should know about this in the event of insolvency of a partner any losses should be shared in the ratio of the lost agreed capital balances before the dissolution took place i wish all the best my dear students do subscribe to my channel this is a very simple and interesting and scoring class thank you